afraid we have worse news. These folks say the indoor locked and trapped them inside. No. Couldn't be possible without the keys. Where are the keys? I'll see if I can get the door open. Always keep them with me. Which is pocket toss the safe keys to Mike? The big brass one is for the front door. Were you in here the entire time? Ha! You think I'd be walking around with this leg? Push on this leg, it's clearly bruised and swollen, but I can't see how bad this injury is. I guess it's been much to think a minute this age climb out through the window to lock us in. Wait here. I'll be back for you as soon as we get the door open. Ha! As if I'm going anywhere. That was just a lobby with it and many are sitting door, but it doesn't look like they made any progress. Joseph Pace says nearby looking miss, but even more distressed than when we left him. Look up. Officer Mike. It turns out he was the one we heard. He was helping Frank. Frank's here too? He hurt his leg, so he's still upstairs for now. He's dead. However, he has the keys to the front door, so we should be able to get out of here. But if what Frank says is true, it doesn't make sense that the door could have locked behind us. Keys? You have keys? We're saved! I call ways down the stairs. I know to the door while we and I follow. He takes a large bounce key and shows the to like a fit smoothly, then he twists and tries to do it. That happens. That's strange. It didn't open? It tries again. The key works, but it still won't open. Could something be blocking the door? Is it just broken? I don't see any sign of damage, but it's possible. I don't know what kind of door it is. If it's a see-through door, you know, kind of like a glass door in a way, you can see if it's blocked, but I feel like maybe it's damaged. What? Someone jammed something in the lock to break it. It can be done. Surely <clears throat> we'd have noticed if it was one of us. Would we have? We were all so anxious to get inside and see who was here. Still, someone breaking the lock would be pretty hard to miss. But not impossible. What do you have in that purse of yours? Maybe the tools needed to break a lock? <laughs> Are you crazy? Okay, now I don't know who's the first one gonna die. <laughs> Joseph seems like he'd be the one because of how distressed he is, but Willow seems like the one because she's just a non believer. Frank seems like one because he's by himself. Calm down, all of you. Accusing one another won't get us anywhere. Let's sit down and talk about this rationally. You want to sit and talk? We should be finding a way to bust out! If one of us really is possessed by the spirit of Matthew Hay, a situation like that is exactly what can give him the opening he needs to claim a victim. Or for someone to pay, I can do something rational. The best thing we can do is keep an eye on one another until morning comes. Watch the inn's common area and sits down after a moment the rest of us do the same. I don't like being trapped here. Is there really a, a chance one of us did it on purpose? But why are we all just look at each other? Well, at least we can all agree that I didn't do it. Whoa, you all came in after me. The door was working fine then, and you all had your eyes on me the entire time. He's got a point. He has a point though, yeah. Yeah, but how do we know you didn't rig it so it would break after a set amount of time? You've gotta be kidding me. We can sit around here throwing around what if ideas all night, but it won't get us anywhere. Does anyone have any proof, any hard evidence that might point toward a culprit? It was Willow. Excuse me? You're the one who noticed Vinny's car. If not for you, none of us would be in here. That's your hard evidence? I pointed out a car we might be able to use to escape? 
but we couldn't use it to escape because we got locked in here. He has a point. You're always denying the curse exists too. That's the perfect cover for Matthew Hayer. Use your natural behavior to make us all lower our guard. I'll admit, it does look like more evidence points toward Willow than anyone else right now. <sighs> this is unbelievable. Are you going to kill me? No! Lies. I know you are. I've always known I'd die this way. Now calm down. No one needs to die. Recommend we do nothing. Uh, sorry, what? If no one tries anything, nothing needs to be done. As long as we keep an eye on each other for the rest of the night, nothing can go wrong. I'm certainly not going to try anything. No. No, don't believe it. Don't believe it. Calm down. Say that now, but we'll be the ones to pay the price. Elijah and Willow wasting the hammer. Whoa! No! Two guns fire at the same time. Just your body falls limp to the ground. What? Mike and Vinny both have guns drawn aimed at Joseph. Okay, it makes sense for Vinny to have the gun, because he does seem like one of those mob bosses kind of beat. Mafia type deeds. He also looks like one. I want to say Slim Trickle, but his name's Vinny, he's got the accent, and he looks like it. I can't believe he tried to kill you. I know. Oh my goodness. Does this mean Joseph was the one possessed? Just a minute. Why does this guy have a gun? A commotion seems to have motivated Frank enough for him to painfully hop his way downstairs. Me? What's it to you? Seems awfully suspicious. Oh, now that I think about it, Vinny is the whole reason we're trapped in the inn. I see. So there's a chance Joseph was really frightened. Not possessed. You're all nuts. Please stay calm. Calm? I stop at a small town on my way home to be with my family. Nice little town. Next thing oh, I know, I'm locked in an inn with a bunch of crackpots who believe one of them is possessed. Calm? I stop at a small town on my way home to be with my family. Nice little town to spend Halloween. Or so I think. I say... Things have been pretty strange around here, though. Nothing has happened here tonight that can't be explained away by paranoia. He has a point. Yes, I quite agree. There is no curse. Everyone is just letting their fear override their common sense. You have no real reason to suspect me of anything. I can assure you, I'll be awake to protect everyone. 
to protect us or to kill us. could possess anyone, even you. Have I given you any reason to suspect me? Well, it just occurred to me that you were upstairs when we got here, only we didn't know that for a while. You could have done something to the door ahead of time to trap us in here. That's absurd. <laughs> it's getting kind of heated. It is possible. I hate to mention it, but I couldn't help but notice how interested you were in in picking someone to blame, too. What are you talking about? I was trying to get to the bottom of this whole thing. Still, if all we have to do is sit together, it doesn't matter who we think is <coughs> Asking so many questions just makes us suspicious of one another. What do you want me to do? I think I would feel much safer if you were locked in another room. You want to lock me in another room? I suppose the rest of you will be out here together. Doesn't anyone else find it just a bit suspicious that Rita wants me, the person who has vowed to defend all of you, locked up so I can't reach you? What are you implying? Jump show sure feet. Mike Osh stands, he tosses gun. I'm saying I think the real person Matthew Hayer is possessed is you, Rita. No. It really is you, isn't it? When he touches feet as well, he has his gun on again. He aims it at Mike, but he has it. In a second now, Mike will shoot Rita. If any shoots him first, we'll save her, but Mike might be might die instead. This is the choice where I think someone would die regardless. Okay, so, okay, so we does have a point. The only person that could actually no, not not to think about it though, she she did not tell Vinny to get in the room. Because Vinny has a gun too. Vinny could protect too. Also, I think the only thing between Vinny and Mike is the fact that Mike could probably stay up all night. Despite being tied, Vinny probably couldn't. But Vinny also has a gun. So he can still protect everybody. So if he shoots Rita, Rita's probably not possessed. And she just dies. I just wish they gave me they they said about other people. Like cause the Frank doesn't really talk a lot, and Rilla's not talking a lot. It's just the three, so you don't know. Don't know. <sighs> Sorry, Mike. You're probably a good guy. You seem like a decent man, but we can't have you kill somebody just because you're scared. If you're scared, or possess. Mike is out of control. I, if he actually shoot Weedle right now, we need to stop him, no matter the cost. Do it. When he fires the gun. The shot grazes the back of Mike's head. Mike turns, raising the gun to fire back at Vinny. When he shoots a second time, then the third and then the fourth for two, Mike collapses. Oh my god, I owe you my life. Thank you, thank you. Double kill. <laughs> she covers her face and starts sobbing. I guess, I mean, think about it though, he had a, he, he must have really actually been possessed, because in the fact that it took like four shots. He is a police officer, that is correct. But, just because you're a police officer doesn't mean bullets are just gonna, you're just gonna get shot four times back to back. Like, it seems like he just kept standing too, so it took four shots. Huh, at least we can all rest easy now. It had to be him, you know? I'll give you all rooms. Free of charge. 
He says it like it's a joke, but I don't think anyone fish much like laughing right now. And I, I didn't think about it earlier. He was already in the room to begin with. He was already in the end. Which, you know, he never gave an explanation like he was with Frank, so either he was helping Frank to get out, or he just didn't make sense why he stayed, you know. <clears throat> you had no reason to stay. Plus, someone slashed the tires. It could have been him. The key, do I don't know. It's a long night. The few moments I sleep, I miss to get out of the store by nightmares. She's probably never saw someone die before. Actually, yeah, she saw two people die. At last, morning arrives. Two people begin to return to town. They're able to break us half the end, much to my leave. Technically, this is my home now. I should get on with moving in, as I intended to do. But the memories of what happened at the end still haunt me. Everyone says we were lucky to get away with only two people dying. They can say that's fortunate. I don't feel fortunate at all. One way or another, I'm getting out of this town as soon as I can. Maybe then the nightmares will stop. Too spooky for me. She's been, she's been traumatized. That's it then, that, that whole ordeal traumatized her. Okay, so I would say now, this vision of it is really, really short. That's a certified fact. It's a very, very short novel. Um, but there are multiple endings, though. That's the thing. There are numerous endings. Okay? So we are going to do the other endings. Depending on how different you are, but there are numerous, numerous endings. Boy, let's just go bring it back here. So, CG Gallery. And we have all this. I don't know why. Hey, these are like the different end. Okay, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to continue. Let's go heal. And let's stop Vinny from shooting. Mike knows what he's doing. I don't believe he's possessed. His plan was a good one and he is objection suspicious. We have to trust him. Don't do it! Being a good set made to slow you lose his gun. Mike fires his gun. He hits Rita in the chest and she stack stack his backwards. I don't know what you were planning, but I won't let it happen. I wasn't planning anything. Mike fires again. This is hope. Be it goes still, Mike turns to us. I'm sorry. Really she didn't talk it out. You really think I'm sure? I don't know. She might have just been scared like Joseph. Guess we're all sitting around together tonight after all. Huh? Yes. Yes, I, I think that is for the best. I sure hope it's over. It's a long, tense night together. I don't mean to get to sleep at all. Only a while, a lot of us will sitting together or still alive it's a work of shoot people can return to town and do able to break us out the end technically this is my home now I should get on with as I tend to do but the memories of what happened out there is still harming anyone says we were lucky to get away if only two people say it was fortunate I don't feel fortunate at all they are one way or another I'm getting out of the sound as I can maybe the nightmares will stop Okay, so either way, it's the same way. It just interests someone who's dying. Okay. So... So, overall, the game is short. It's, it's just... Okay. So, we gotta see what changes, how much changes based off what. So, I think... Now, okay, so I'm gonna have to. Okay, I wanted to do the one where she goes herself. I kinda go backwards in time a little bit. At least with the end, and it will. Okay, let's do this. Let's just skip it. 
Calm down. Calm down? We're Bless you. I'm gonna No 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 I just Whoa evacuated What's going on? It's a crush on this town. And then watch what we'll have a go so he's already possessed someone. Well, I'm going upstairs. I should have one coming with me. I should have uh saved when I got to them. See, don't investigate. I'd rather stay here. Anyone else? Don't look at me. I told you. I want to focus on getting this door open. Oh dear. Are you really going to make me go up there alone? You don't have to go. I don't get it, but if you're that worried, I'll go with you. Might as well. Okay, so somebody goes with Foy anyway. Thank you. You're a kind young man. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's like, yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, sure. Go upstairs at the stranger who just happened to show up and lure us all in. Would you quit implying things about me? I didn't even know what was going on until you people barged in. So you say. I would much rather have Vinny with me than go up there alone, so I'll take my chances. Vinny snores, but follows me to towards the staircase. The staircase creak as the two of them hit upstairs, leaving the three of us alone. Well, look, crouches and find the door and expects it. Oh. Okay, is this do or not? Save it. What's your door locked inside? And you got uh, a big outlock there. There's a keyhole. I assume there's a keyhole on the outside as well. So no matter which side you're on, you need a key to unlock it. Well, that's right. Wait a minute, if that's true, then there's no way we accidentally locked it ourselves. Yes. I was expecting a thumb turn or deadbolt, but I don't see anything like that. And it wouldn't make sense for that to be on the outside. If the door is locked, then someone must have locked it intentionally using a key. Now do you believe me? This is the curse! That's nonsense! Are you really so confident, even with everything that's happened to us? I'll admit, things are starting to seem a bit dangerous. But as long as we keep our heads and work together, we'll get through this. We need to be prepared for anything. The killer is probably watching us right now. Waiting. Deciding which one of us he'll kill first. Would you stop saying things like that? Excuse me if I find it difficult to stay calm at a time like this! <sighs> Please calm down. Why, so you can explain how there is no curse? And it's entirely coincidental that someone locked us into the inn after removing our transportation? No, because if we can get out of here, we can take Vinny's car. Assuming he doesn't murder us. Stop that. You can't mistrust Vinny just because he's a stranger. We need to find the key for this door. Forget the key! Let's just bust down the door or break a window! <sighs> this is no time to turn to vandalism. It's better than being dead! I refuse to be party to such things. Just for the key, smash open the window. I actually want to try smash open the window. She didn't really want to try. Normally, I try to go to safe room with how you know the story plays out, but considering that there's more with the engine, I'm going for other endings. And I don't know what ending would be the best one, but considering that people said that I'm fortunate for having two people die, then I don't think I could get any better than that. So I just smash open the window. If we can break a window and get out of here, that's probably our best option. Good. Uh, they must have a hammer or something, right? He always shorts the door in Mark's staff. If in a project look back a willow, I follow him. 
no leads to a large black storage room. I turn the lights, but the dim bar barely offers any illumination. Great. I follow Joseph through the room, looking at the box and shifts around us, ready that might help us break the window. When he suddenly turns around. Do you think it's her? What? We've already been here long enough for the spirit to possess someone. So who is it? Willow? Why her? Think about it. She keeps insisting there's no curse. Maybe it's him, and he wants us to lower our guard. Begins pace it back and forth. Yes. Yes. And she's the one who pointed out Vinny's car. It's her fault we're trapped in here. It just seemed to get her killed. You see? Wants his hand to his heel. What are we going to do about it? It's probably only a matter of time before she starts killing. Let's just focus on breaking out of here. Look! Wants her ship along the firewall and picks up a hammer. Uh, that should do it. Yes. Yes, this is perfect. Clash the hammer against his chest. Are you okay? I'm going to die here. I'm not. I'm not. This is closer to me, still holding hammer like a lifeline. Why is he getting closer? We can use this. Oh, okay. What? This will be enough if we sneak up on her from behind. Wait, are you suggesting we kill Willow? It's the only thing we can do. Unless you have a plan to hold out until morning. Do not save. To see, I have a plan. It actually seems kind of interesting. Man. What is it? There are two of us, so we have the advantage. We'll play it cool for now to make sure she lowers her guard. I didn't make this good enough to cut this panic. Then, when the time is right, we'll work together to subdue her and lock her up till morning. It would be nice to get through this without killing anyone. We can do it as long as we work together. Alright. I'll follow your lead. But if it gets dangerous... Yeah, I have to say more. Don't worry, it won't come to that. We're trying to get to the air lobby. Are you really going to break one of the windows? We need to get out of here. I don't like it. Trevor's watching her white, with white eyes. It's not just white from the tight grip he has on his ammo. Come on, let's try the big window that faces the street. Y yes. Alright. Follows me to the window. Although he keeps looking back at Willow, she's returned to her search for the key. Seems he oblivious to his stress. If we can get out of here, that'll make everything easier. Yes, of course. There's a hit much master against the window with our strength. It would bounce and he yelps. There was even a scratch on the glass. Don't tell me the glass is reinforced. Sounds like he might start panicking again, but before he can, the staircase creaks. We all look up. We are leads way down the stairs, followed by Vinny, a man in a police uniform, and they order men to help him. It turns out we heard Officer Mac upstairs. He was trying to help Frank because Frank hurt his leg and couldn't get out. We understand you folks have had some trouble with the door. That's right. We're locked in. Does Frank have the key? That I do. Oh, thank God. We tried to break a window, but it didn't work. When you might kill Frank over your door, Frank pulls out a set of keys and shuts the largest key into the lock. It goes easily and tries to do it. Nothing happens. What did you people do? What? It's not locked. You broke it. Excuse me? Oh, I tried the key. Nothing happened. The door is broken. Someone have done that intentionally? Is that 
absolutely possible. The timing here is the curious thing. And all was fine till you came in. Do you mean someone sabotaged the lock once we were already inside? <laughs> 